Leg 12 of the Moors Millions is next. This is a four mile, four and a half furlong grade three handicap. So a long way to go this time. And at the top five memorial for Leon Van Rensburg has also got Mal on Raider. Hardly for the national, Joshua Sutherland, Lawnmower, Darren Thompson. Take the long road, Joshua Sutherland, Cattle, Donington, Darren Thompson, Ironic, Harold. Graham Clutterbuck, Artisan, Sunday, and David Robertson, Pride of America, Paul Rhodes, Stravita Field for David Robertson, Zami Thinkar, Graham Clutterbuck, Woodland Venture, David Hooley, Moonshee, Stu Gray, Blue Penny, Martin Liram, The Pill Garlic, Padraig Hogan, Blanche Neige, and Debanche Man for Alex Cherry, Roll Over, Beethoven for Padraig Hogan, Shaw, Will Obi Wan, and Gran Torino for Paul Rhodes. So just 20 then, and away they go. And there's some proper Grand National horses in this. We're going to have a bit of a feel for how they're going for that that's only in two weeks remember it's Cheltenham next week and then it's the Grand National the week after we're really getting to the exciting part of the jump season and Shaw Will is in the lead for OB1 so Shaw Will then has gone off into an early lead they've got 31 fences to take that is one more fence than they take in the Grand National so there's an awful lot of jumping to do and they're over the first and they're all safely over it and Shaw Will has settled down into a clear lead of about four or five minutes. Getting into the second, which is a ditch. And they're all safely over that one as well, looking towards the back of the field. Pride of America, just the back mark of a Paul Rhodes, but there's a long, long way to go yet. And in they come to fence number three. Mistake by David Hooley's Woodland Venture. Has seen that one drop to the back, but now Shaw Will's been joined by Gran Torino as they get to the fourth. They all successfully negotiate with this time Artisan Sundown, the one making the mistakes. So we're at Weatherby now. Darting around today. We'll past the winning post with a complete circuit of the Weatherby track to go. And it's Shaw Will who's in the lead. From Gran Torino in second, roll over Beethoven is third, then Ironic Harold is fourth with Take the Long Road in between those two. The rest of them then pretty tightly bunched with. Um, Fire Memorial on the inside, the one that's a bit wide on the track is Blanche Neige, Lawnmower is also in that group, so is Malon Raider, and the Pill Garlic is in that little group as well, so too Stravita Field, then Blue Penny, then comes Pride of America who's made a bit of ground, Zami Thinkar is after that, Woodland Ventures made a bit of ground as well, Moonshee has dropped towards the back now, and Artisan Sundown is still the back marker, but over fence number five they go. And they're all safely over that, with the exception of the Bancher Man, who made a mistake on the inside and a crashing fall for Alex Cherry's de Bancher Man. So that one normally runs a good race. He's out of this one. They get over the next. They're all safely over at Castle Donington having a turn at the back for Darren Thompson. But it's sure will in the lead for Obi Wan as they get into number seven. Pops over that one nicely. The rest of them over it okay as well with Gran Torino in second. And then Hardly for the National third and more over Beethoven fourth as they get over the eighth. And all safely over the eighth and the two slow jumps towards the back, but all over it safely. And into the ninth, we see them from behind a tree and behind a hedge. And they're all safely over it. And it sure will, who continues to lead from Gran Torino in second. Hardly for the Nationals move through into third. Then comes Ironic Harold and Mal on Raider. He's roll over Beethoven and Blanche Neige after that one. And we're still seeing them from quite a distance. And it sure will, who leads by a length and a half. To Gran Torino second. Still got one over three miles to go. Just lost the one so far. Alex Cherry's de Bancherman. We've still got Blanche Neige in it. He's one of the ones wide on the track closest to us there. You can see with the four white feet. But it's sure one in front from Gran Torino second as they take fence number 10. Oh, safely over that blue penny is the latest one to have a turn in the tail end of position as they get to number 13, which is a small ditch. And um, we've lost one there. It's take the long road's gone. So that'll be one of the fancied ones gone there. And out of it, it's take the long road. Makes you wonder whether Joshua Sutherland really thinks it's a national horse. He normally calls his national horses something like national and national in there. That's why he's got hardly for the national you'd think would be his main one. But four and a half mile, they get to the 13th. And over that one, they all go a bit of an untidy jump by Zami Thinker. And the pill garlic is the latest one to take a turn. That being last, as they come up past the winning post again, they've still got two more circuits to go. So they don't get dizzy, and it sure will in the lead. 
from Ironic Harold has moved through into second. Gran Torino is third. Artisan Sundown is fourth. Then Hardy the National is five. And Rollover by Over is six. Blanche is seven. And Pride of America is eight. Then Moonshee is nine. And Castle Donington is ten. Then five. Memorial Stravita Field. Zami Thinker. Woodland Venture and Lawnmower. And then at the back, Mammon Raider, the Pill Garlic. And finally, last season's Grand National winner, Blue Penny, who is the current back marker. But it sure will. You sure will lead them into the 14th with a lead of about three lengths or so. Gets over it nicely. Nice to the field. Likewise. They're all going well within themselves, it would seem, at the moment. And the sure went over this ditch in front. Everybody safely over that one then. Gran Torino second, Artis Anson down third. Then roll over back over on the inside of Ironic Harold. Pride of America get a little bit closer as they take number 16. A mistake there towards the back by the Leon Van Rensburg. I think it was Malon Raider that made the mistake, but the two of these are pretty much together. At this point, Blue Penny still the back marker. As we peer over the hedge again into the next two miles left of race, this is another ditch. All safely over that one. Get a little bit more strung out now. And Shaw sure Will continues to lead by two lengths to Gran Torino in second. Roll over Beethoven is third. Artisan Sundown is fourth. Monshi is fifth. Then comes Hard National and Pride of America. Castle Donington is next. Ironic Harold has lost his place a little bit and has dropped back. Zami Think, although he's trying to get a little bit closer. Two little Van Rensburg horses are right out the back with Lawmower and Blue Penny. Got a lot of work to do if they're going to get into it. But it's Shaw sure Will in the lead. Over Beethoven, who's just about gone second ahead of Gran Torino, Artisan Sundown, Pride of America, and Moon, Moon She. They get to the next. It's number 19. Slow jump again by Ironic Harold on the inside. Sure will continue to show the way over number 20. Another ditch, which they all get over nicely. And it's Mal on Raider. He's just really going into last. Sure will be joined by roll over Beethoven over that one. They land together. Mistake by Gran Torino in third. Artisan Sundance now got into third. Moonshi is fourth. As they get to the 22nd. All safely over the 22nd with roll over Beethoven now gone into the lead. As they come up past the stand, past the winning post for the penultimate time. Next time is the time that counts. And roll over Beethoven will hope to be in the lead again next time. Sure one is second. Moonshi is four lengths back in third. Travita Fields after that. Artisan Sundown and Pride of America. Then Gran Torino and Blanche Neige after that. And then comes Castle Donington. Where two of them start to creep a little bit closer. Blue Penny's getting a bit closer on the inside. But he's going to need a really good run through. Five Memorial in front of it likewise. But it's rolled over Beethoven and Shaw sure Will. So Patrick Hogan's top and tail in the field at the moment as the pill garlic has dropped to last. But it's rolled over Beethoven in the lead. Shaw sure Will second. Travita Field looming closer in third. Then comes Pride of America. Moonshi still going well on the outside. Hardly for the National isn't out of it yet either as they take the 23rd. And they're all safely over the 23rd with rolled over Beethoven in the lead. Then Shaw sure Will and Travita Field. Then Pride of America and Castle Donington. And ironic Harold and Moon Shears, they get over that ditch, that was number 24, and we lost another one there, Fire Memorial's gone, so the top weight's out, and it's rolled over Beethoven in the lead, now being pressed by Stravita Field on the outside as they get over number 25, Stravita Field was a slow jump, sure will, battling back on the inside as regain the lead from rollover Beethoven, Stravita Field, ironic Harold, over the 26th they go, then after that one comes Moon Sheet, Blue Pennies now starting to run on, so too's Castle Donington, Malon Raider starting to get into it as well, they're coming down a Towards the next then there. And it's Stravita Field has hit the front. Oh, that we've gone. Stravita Field crashed straight through that one. And he's out just as it took the lead. And it's left roll over Beethoven and Shaw Will. Back disputing the lead again from Lawnmower on the outside. Moonshee next. Then comes Malon Raider.
Ben and Blanche Nez is trying to run on. Then Ironic Harold Blue Penny one pace. And they're racing now towards the final four fences. And there's almost four in a line. It's Malon Raider who's come through from Shaw Will roll over Beethoven and Lawnmower. Then a little bit of a gap back to Monshi and Woodland Venture. Then after that one, Pride of America, Ironic Harold and Blue Penny and Blanche Nez. But they're racing down towards the fourth from home then now. And it's Malon Raider who's just in the lead by about a nose to Lawnmower in second. Then comes Rollover, Beethoven and, and Shaw Will. They're at the fourth last over it. They go. Malon Raider landed in front. Malon Raider's got a length clear from Rollover, Beethoven in second. Lawnmower is third. Shaw Will fourth. Woodland Venture is running on. So too is hardly for the National. Over the final ditch, the third from home. They all get over that one okay. And it's three in a line again. It's Malon Raider from Lawnmower closest to us. Rollover, Beethoven in the yellow on the far side. Then Shaw Will. This is the second last over it. They go to three of them land together. And it's just Malon Raider in front. Malon Raider then by about a neck to roll over Beethoven in second Lawnmower looks to be tired as they get over the final fence Marlon Raider's over in the lead and he's gone there sure will it's Marlon Raider in front Marlon Raider Gran Torino went as well but it's Marlon Raider who's going to take it I think as they race up towards the line Marlon Raider is just holding on from one last surge from roll over Beethoven Blanche Nish third then Hardy for the National and Blue Benny running on Castle Donington after that one and another thrilling four and a half mile race these Really always always exciting races and Malon Raider is probably gonna be the anti post favourite for the national I should think took that one pretty cosily. One or two running on one at the end, but you can't go much further. We can't go any further than four mile four. That's even further than the national of course, isn't it? No, that's been trimmed down to four three, but Malon Raider takes it for Leon Van Rensburg. Roll over Beethoven for Padraig Hogan second. Blanche Nish for Alex Cherry, third. Hardly for the National. Joshua Sullivan, fourth. Woodland Venture for David Hewley, fifth. Of course, the disappointment is going to be that these horses are rated so highly that we're probably only going to get about four in the handicap when it comes around to the National Week. But a good win there for Malon Raider, who's probably going to be close to top weight in the National, I would think.